Welcome. Welcome to my studio, Spank Studios, Austin, Texas. I'm Tom Lord Algae. And we're gonna we're gonna show you the control hub plugin by SDL Tones. And I'm gonna walk you through some of the um, presets that I made in my expansion pack. I'm gonna use a song by Jimmy's Chicken Shack. It's called Seconds Slip Away. Shall we? Next in, in my mixing process would be the bass guitar. So let's take a listen to the bass guitar. We're gonna continue with the same section. There's a solid bass. Let's load the plug-in, and again, let's see what let's see what kind of damage we can get into, or what kind of trouble we can cause here. Because that's what this is all about. It's about having fun and screwing around. So we're gonna start right with number one. Oh, hello. So for me, it's the rich bass is gonna it's gonna be the one here that we're gonna use. You know, it's it's my it's got a good starting point and I'm gonna go with it. This one just needs some bottom end. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna be add, I'm gonna be adding it pre and post on this one. So I want that amount. That's a fair amount, and I want I want that to go into the compressor. And then we're just going to add a little bit on the back side of it because I still want some more bottom. And then we're going to add a little, little bite. Right, and you take a look at the color module if we wanted to see if we can get it to grind a little bit more. And then we're going to check it with the drum set now and hear, hear what that sounds like with the drums and make the gain adjustment. And again, as always, you make you make your first EQ, and then you listen to it with the track, and you're going to make adjustments. Right, so there's our bass. Again, we started with the rich bass. We did some equalization, add some bottom end to the input, a little top end to the input, added some, some drive, and then we finished it off with the master EQ. Guitar, how you doing? Got the balance up on the drums and the bass, and now we move to the guitars. So in the verse here, we got two sets of guitars, and let's start with the first set. Here's what they sound like coming in. All right, so we're going to start with the left one first. Right? So I take the left one, I pan it up the center, and here we go. All right? And we go to the guitar presets. Right? We're going to start with number two, classic rock, and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Center Ultra Fuzz. Clean guitar filter. Oh, Enema of the Guitar. Enema of the Guitar filtered. Yeah, I bet you're all voting for Enema of the Guitar, aren't you? But I'm going with Classic Rock, because the Classic Rock one is working. All I want to do on this, this is a great starting point for me. It just needs a touch more bite. 
like that. Simple as that. And on this, we're, I'm gonna wanna add a little bit of effect to this. I'm gonna wanna have a small room on there. So let's turn the effect module on. Don't forget this one here. We're gonna put that on and then we're gonna, just gonna find a small room. Here we go. And it just wants a touch of it. And I wanna put a little pre-delay on there. literally that much right it just wants to be an implied that there's a little room there i don't want it to be overwhelming i just want there to just to be a little bit of space around it and literally i'm just going to drag this down to the next guitar right and then i'm going to take a listen to the next guitar so here's the next guitar without right and they're just double so they're the same I can also see immediately that I'm going to have an issue that these guitars are going to be really loud, right? So I'm going to have to make an adjustment. I'm going to check them in the mix, right? So, and they are, I'm going to bring them down. I'm going to bring them down 4 dB, right? And then we'll see what that, remember, I just copied and pasted that plugin over. So as you can see, while I'm rebalancing and listening to what's going on, I turned off the master EQ. It doesn't need it. What, what's in there, whatever that preset is doing, it's sounding great. So I'm going with it because with that little bit of top end plugged in, it was too much, right? So we go down to three and four. Are you feeling lucky? So here's the guitar before. And you guys out there would be better knowing what kind of guitar that is than, than I would. It sounds like a telly. Again, this plugin is just, this particular preset just sounds like it's adding just a touch of, touch of top end. And again, with that little bit of reverb, it sounds great. And again, going to copy that down to the next one, right? That's the great thing about guitars is a lot of times they're just doubled. So you can just copy that down to your next one. And if you want to make it different, Hey, you can make it different. Right, so remember what I just said, the great thing about the guitars is they're normally double dual. Again, every, every one of those things that I say has an exception, and this is one of them. So even though it's a similar sounding guitar, I was experimenting and I went through and I'm like, you know what? I like this enema of the guitar filtered. So what I've done is, this channel, the right channel, is filtered, and then the left channel of this guitar is not, right? And when you pan them out, it just creates a, a different thing. So all I want to do now on this is add, is add in that little bit of, of, of room that I have. Right, and then there's a last guitars for this section that we're working on. Is this B section guitars? And again, I'm just gonna copy down. So notice what I'm doing is I'm, I made some adjustments to the gain and then I just copy it down to the one next to it. All right, so let's hear this section now with the drums, bass, and guitars. All right, so that's sounding good and I'm digging that effect on the guitar gives it a nice thing. In this song, there are some vocals. Let's see what Jimmy has to say. Here's his vocal. The seconds move too fast. Too small, too quick. Mark them with a stick. All right, so let's see what we can do with this. 
So here we go. Rock and vocal. Let's go. Hit me. The seconds move too fast. Next one. Too small, too quick. Mark them with a stick. A tick and then a tock. Another moment's lost. Every second is a first with you. <laughs> It's kind of cool when you just scroll through them when it's running, but you got to pick one. Seconds, moments lost. Every second is a first with you. Right, so do that. And this one's going to, we're going to need to put some effects on here. So let's just dig right into that. Well, first I'm going to get this, I want to get what I have right here to balance into the mix. I'm now going to just hear it with the track. Too small, too quick. Mark them with the stick. Okay, so there's just, the, what that was, was that was just the quick balance. In other words, I wanted to hear it in the track. I wanted to get it in the place that's similar to where it's going to live. And now I'm going to, to delve into it a little bit deeper. The seconds move too fast. Too small, too quick. Mark them with a stick. A tick and then a tock. Another moment's lost. Every second is a first with you. This would be a prime channel for effects. So let's start with the plate. Or with the, uh, I'm sorry, with the chamber. Let's see how that sounds. The seconds move too fast. Too small, too quick. Mark them with the stick. A tick and then a tock. Another moment's lost. Every second is a first with you. The seconds. So the one thing that we haven't talked about is, is the, the, the limiter module. So on this particular, what I'm hearing here is I want something to be, I want this to be compressed. I want it to be spanked. So I want to hear what it sounds like if I, if I run that limiter and use it as a compressor. That's going to compress the whole chain of events. So let's see what that does. And let's see if I can't get it to sound good. The seconds move too fast. Too small, too quick. There's something about that sucking up and down, what it's doing with the reverb, which I think sounds really good. I'm going to check that with the track. Right? It's a little too much, but I'm digging what it's doing. Let's get, let's try with some, some of this uh, color module, get a little distorted. The seconds Something like that. So I think that you're getting the idea. The plugin is very powerful. The modeling is amazing where you can model, you know, where it's modeled with these great signal chains. And now you can see, you know, kind of, I mean, we've just scratched the surface of what you can do with this. But again, I'm hoping that in the artist pack that I provided you and the presets that are there and some of the signal chains that I've offered to you, that you'll be able to make a ridiculously killer mix. So, that covers the control ups. Thank you, Jimmy's Chicken Shack. We only got to mix the verse. Next time we'll do the whole song. 
But thank you so much, and thank you, STL Tones. And that's Control Up.